Okay, so um, last time, right, we finished with uh, the polar coordinate. Today we're going to talk about the multiple integral. Okay. So first we start with uh, the double integral. Okay. And we will go through several questions to for you to be familiar with the question. And if you have any question, you can ask me. Okay. Okay, so for the first one, right, uh, just compute the double integral. And this one is the very straightforward one because uh, as you can see, the region R is the square, right? So what I really recommend everyone to do when doing the double integral is to draw the region that you need to integral, okay, need to integrate. Uh, so this one is uh, one four, right? From one to four, x from one to four, right? And y will be from 0 to 3 to 3, right? So it's become like this. So here is the region R, okay? Then you need to integrate, okay? I recommend you when you're doing your integration to draw the uh, region of integration first. Okay, so when you already already know this one, then let's in do the integrate. Do. Right, so you have two choice. DA, right? D. So you have two choice. One is dx, dy. Okay. Another one is dy, dx. Okay. If you want to do the dx, dy, right? I usually when you already do the uh, draw the region already, uh, when you do, do the dx dy, I usually draw the arrow from uh, left to right or perpendicular to uh, parallel to the x axis. Okay, so it become like this. Okay. And you can see that it passed this, it passed this one first, right? And then this one, right? So that means it's the lower part of the integration will be the one that passed first. So if it dx, right, it will be one to four, okay? And then it integrates from zero to three. Okay, in this case, it's not that difficult. Okay, so you actually, you don't have to do it like this, but you can do you see it handy when uh, the, uh, the region of integration is more complicated. Okay, if it is dy dx, then draw the arrow parallel to the y-axis like this. So it's path zero first, and then three, right? So it will become zero, three, and integrate from one to four, like this. Okay. And then you do the integration. When you do the integration, 
you can imagine something like this okay like it has a bracket okay like this so when you do the integration uh, with respect to x right then you see like y is a constant and vice versa okay so uh, maybe i will do the first one okay i will do this one so zero to three one to four x y square root x minus two y cube dx dy okay and you can try to do another one yourself and check whether we get the same answer or not okay so this one right when you integrate with respect to x then this thing will become it 4yx 3 over 2 minus 2xy cube okay when x equal to 1 and x equal to 4 dy right then substitute x we get 28y minus 6y cube dy okay and this thing will equal to 40y squared minus 3 over 2 y to the fourth and y equal to 0 to y equal to 3 which will give you 9 over 2 okay this one is minus okay this is how you do the integration okay this one I, I think most of you I hope you don't have a problem with this one okay when the region is a square because this one is I think the easiest one already okay for the double integral you just do like uh, the integration two times like that okay now we will see for uh, the more complicated one okay Okay, so next one. Question two. Y minus one. Where D is. y equal to 1 minus x square and y equal to x square minus 3 okay so as I already say right first try to draw the graph okay the region this one is a bit more complicated okay for this one y equal to 1 minus x square is the parabola okay and the highest point is 1 okay so it becomes something like this a parabola okay 
another one for this one. It's also a parabola, right? Y equal to x square and minus three, three mean that the lowest part is at minus three. Okay, and it's the upper upward parabola like this. Okay. The drawing don't have to be precise, but you need to be uh, correct in shape for you to uh, do the integration correctly. Okay. So here is the domain, right, that we want to integrate. Okay. Okay. And in this case, if you see that if I using like this one, right, so it become let me write first uh, x y dx dy right right if i doing the parallel to the y-axis that is dy dx right so you can see that this one is going through y equal to x squared minus 3 first right so it becomes x squared minus 3 to the upper one right which is 1 minus x squared okay and for the x you need to know this point okay there are two intersection points okay you will get by letting these two equations equal to each other. So you get one minus x squared equal to x squared minus three. Okay. You will get four equal to two x squared. Right? X squared equal to two. So x is equal to plus or minus a square root of two. Okay, so at this x need to be minus square root of two, right? And here x is equal to square root of two. Okay, so this thing will be minus square root of two and square root of two like this. Okay, this is how you do. But if you doing the x dy, you can see that if you doing it here right it passing the same equation right the green equation two times and when you're doing it up here it's passing another equation that means you cannot using one integration you need to do it separately okay which is not efficient so in this case I recommend you to do the dy dx, okay? Because you're going to have only one, uh, only one integration. If you do the x dy, you need two integration at least, okay? This one I will say. Okay not efficient to do it okay you can try okay to see that you understand or not okay but the answer will be the same okay that's doing this one okay so this thing x square minus 3 1 minus x squared, x y minus 1, dy dx, right? This thing will equal to okay, and it will be x 
1 over 2 y squared minus y. Okay. And y equal to x squared minus 3 to y equal to 1 minus x squared dx. Okay. When you substitute uh, the that equation, you will get 1 over 2 x 1 minus x square square minus 1 over 2 x. Oh, sorry. And x square minus 3 square minus x 1 minus x square plus x x square minus 3 the x. Okay. You just substitute uh, y with 1 minus x square and y equal to 1 uh, x square minus 3. Okay, you get this one. Okay, if you simplify this equation, okay, you will get. Okay, you You can uh, just calculate here, right? Or you can just straightforward and do it just like this one, okay? By using use substitution, something like that, okay? I will put it into two integral. Square minus x one minus x square dx okay plus I will just write minus yeah over two x x square minus three and minus x x square minus three. Dx. Okay, you get two integration, and by using this one, that u equal to one minus x square, du will be minus two x dx, right? And then you substitute this one, and this one you let u equal to x square minus three, du will be 2x dx okay substitute into this one and then try to compute okay you will get that this one will equal to zero okay Okay, this one, you can do it like this. Okay, so. For the next one, right? I try uh, to uh, let you like see many type of question, okay?
So let uh, this one is the one that is not a square, right? Square region. Okay. The next one uh, will be a little bit more difficult. Okay, so this one right, asks you to find, to compute this integration, but first you need to reverse the order of integration. Okay, so as I usually do, draw the region first. Okay, so the region that this one gives you is here, right? When it is dx, right, it is at x equal to y square and x equal to minus root y, okay? So for uh, I will just write in different color. Okay, so x equal to minus root y. It is this parabola. Okay, it's like a parabola, but only half of them. Okay, because we uh, it is the, the square root. Okay. And x equal to y square, right? It's the parabola, but around the x axis. Okay. It will be this one. Actually, you have the down one also, okay? But we didn't use in this content. So let me just draw it, okay? Just draw it like this. And let's say that y equal to zero to one, right? So the bound will be here, y equal to zero and y equal to one, okay? So the region is only here. Okay, so you can see that we can just erase this one. Okay, it's, it's okay to put it, but not necessary. Okay, when you want to do the reverse, uh, the order of integration, right? So you want it to be integral like this, 6x minus y dy dx. Right, you need to put here the equation here to be y equal, okay? Y equal to something and y equal to another thing, right? So you change this one. So x equal to minus square root y, you will become y equal to x square, right? And this thing you get y equal to square root of x. Okay, so you get this one. Therefore, this thing you get is not that simple. Right, because 
you want to do the dy dx, right? Then you need to draw the arrow parallel to the y axis, right? This one passing this equation and this one and this and this line passing another equation. Okay, so if you want it to do the the y dx right, you need two integration. Okay, so this one will be the first, and this one will be the second one. Okay, so the first one right, y you passing to y equal to x squared first, right? So it becomes x squared, and the yellow one here is y equal to 1, right? Okay, so it will be like this. Okay, and at this point, okay, y equal to 1, right? x squared equal to 1, so this one, x is equal to minus 1, okay? And x here is x equal to 1. Okay, and here is x equal to 0. Okay, so uh, this arrow here will be in this equation until at the point x equal to 0. Okay, that means so this integration will be from minus 1 to 0. Okay, this one is the first integration. The second one will be 6x minus y dy dx. Okay, and it's passing through the square root of x first, right, uh, to 1 and it starts from 0 to 1. Okay, you need to add this together to get the uh, the air, uh, the whole region. Okay, so that means uh, the integral from 0 to 1 integral from minus root y to y squared x minus y dx dy equal to integral from minus 1 to 0 x squared 1 6x minus y dy dx plus from 0 to 1 root x to 1 6x minus y dy dx okay so you get this equation Okay, and then you compute the region. Okay, you compute the integration. Okay, this integration is not that difficult. Okay, because it's x and y is mostly separate. Okay, please try to do it yourself. But the answer will be minus 31 over 12, uh, uh, 20. Okay, minus 31 over 20. Okay, so as you can see, if they not ask you to do the reverse integration or in which direction uh, by drawing the region that you need to integration, it helps you to do the integration more efficiently. Okay, you can do it uh, in the less amount of time. Okay, I hope uh, this can guide guide you at something. Okay, so this everything that we talk about here is uh, in x y coordinate, right? 
but you already know that we can using another coordinate right using substitution and changing it to uh, the polar coordinate right which give you sometimes give you an advantage okay you for uh, the e. double integral okay one plus four x square y square da where d is of x square plus y square equal to 16. okay so First, draw the graph, right? The region D is come from this one, x square plus y square equal to 16. That one is a circle, right? And it's said only the bottom half, so it becomes like this. Okay, this is the region D. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. So for this one, right? It if you finding the area, it will be non-negative, right? But this one is not uh, the area. When you finding the area with the double integral, right? Uh, the integral the inside here need to be one okay when uh, the inside the integral the function inside is one then you get the area it it what what you get is not the area it's something different but you can use double integral to finding the area okay and that if you inside is one it will never be the negative okay okay so for this one right uh, i recommend you that to use the polar coordinate you need to uh, when it involves circle or the area itself is in the polar coordinate okay the domain is bounded by the function in the polar coordinate okay otherwise i think in x and y yes uh better okay so as in this one it's circle it's very good for the polar coordinate to do okay so as a reminder okay r equal to square root of x square plus y square right and theta is the tan inverse of y over x right or you just write it you usually using r square equal to x square plus y square okay that's the same Okay, so this equation, if we want to change it to the polar coordinate, right, you get r equal to 4. Okay, it, you can write it r square equal to 16, right, r is equal to plus or minus but the radius right it more makes sense when the radius is positive so I use the positive one okay and when you do doing it in the polar coordinates right 
you need to change everything to the polar coordinate. So the square root of one plus four x square plus four y square is just four r square. Okay, and then when you change uh, the x d y into uh, the polar, it is r dr d theta. Okay, this one is in the group. Okay, don't forget r. Okay, it's r dr d theta. Okay, not many of students forgot r, and uh, you will get a wrong answer. Okay, and then now the radius, right? is from zero to the radius four, right? The i is inside, so from zero to four. And the angle is from here to here. Here, the theta is pi, and to here is two pi, okay? So it's pi to two pi, okay? And then you do the calculation. Okay, using the u substitution, and you can calculate it. Okay, use u equal to one plus four r square. Okay, and then you can uh, get the answer. Okay, it will be pi and well, or R square and uh, it's R equal to zero to R equal to four D theta. Okay. And if you do the calculation right, you will get Pi fifty five minus one, something like this. Okay. Try to practice uh, doing the integration. Okay, yourself. Okay. So, uh, you using the polar coordinate substitution, right? using the polar coordinate. Uh, I recommend you to do it when it is circle or the function is in the polar coordinate itself. Otherwise, uh, not so much, not many times that you need to do it. Okay, let's see another example. Okay, this one. Even though that they are not tell you to do to change it to polar coordinate, right? X square plus y square and when the area is something like this, it's a very good time to consider doing the in polar coordinate. Okay. These two things is a very good candidate. Okay, so let's see.
first draw the region okay so uh, y equal to minus square root 9 minus x square right y equal to minus square root 9 minus x square right that if we square you get y x square plus y square equal to 9 okay so we get a kind of circle okay we get a circle but you see that for this one y equal to 0 right so that means it's just a lower half of the y uh, of the circle right because it say that you want to integrate from uh, the lower part to zero, okay? And that's not all. In here, these two things, x equal to three and x equal to zero. So x equal to three is here, and x is, uh, x equal to zero is there, and x equal to three is here, right? So the part that you want to integrate is just this quarter only here okay be careful the lower part is the circle upper part is the zero the left left one is zero and the right one is three okay so this is the region that we want okay Okay, so now let's change it to the polar coordinate. So it will be integral e to the, it will become r square, okay, because x square plus y square is r square, r dr theta, okay. Now r is from zero until three, right? Nine is three square. Okay. So zero to three. And the radius is no. Uh, and the theta, right, is from here to here, which is uh, three pi over two. To two pi. Okay, and then you do the integration using r sub, uh, using u substitution, that u equal to r square. Okay, you get the answer. Okay, this thing will equal to one over four pi e to the nine minus one. Okay u equal to r square du equal to 2r dr okay Okay, now we going to see a bit more the hard question. So this one is question five. Question six. Square plus y square equal to two in the first quadrant. Okay, 
in the first quadrant. In this case, right, you can see that this thing is a circle, right? It's very good thing to change it to the polar coordinates. But inside here, it's not something like x squared, plus y squared, right? It's not that good. So this thing, I will write it in two ways, okay, for you. And then if it not tell you that you need to change it to polar coordinates, then you don't have to, okay? So I will leave it to you, okay, for your choice, which way you want to do. And Anyway, it's uh, correct. Okay, so first, it's the first quadrant, the circle, okay, part of the circle in the first quadrant, right? So it become like this, okay? This is the area. Okay, this one is x squared plus y squared, which is two, okay? So the radius is square root of 2, okay? If you want to do it in the polar coordinate, okay? So it's become uh, uh, not from the polar coordinates, right? X will equal to R cos theta and y equal to r sine theta, right? So this thing will be 4 of r cos theta, r sine theta minus 7, okay? r dr d theta, okay? And r is from 0 to square root of 2, okay? And theta is from 0 to pi over 2. Okay? This is one way. You can do it in the polar coordinate, like this one. Or you want to do it in the x, dy. Right? If it is in the x, dy, then it will be the x, dy. Okay? In the x, dy, that means in this direction, right? And it has to be x equal to something. So it will be 2 minus y squared and then square root. Okay? So it's x needs to be this one, the square root of 2 minus y squared. Okay, so x passing this one first, right? Which is x equal to zero to square root of two minus y squared. Okay, and integrate from y equal to 0 until the square root of 2. Okay, you can do it this way or you can do it y minus 7 dy dx. Okay, you can do it as dy dx also. So if you do it in dy dx, then you need to Go up like this one, and it will be y equal to the square root 2 minus x squared. Okay, and you see that it passing through 0 first. So this thing will be 0 until 2 minus x squared, and x from 0 to square root of 2. Okay, you can see that. We have three different 
into question that gives you the same answer. This one is in uh, polar coordinate. This one you're doing it uh, in squared dx first. This one you're doing it dy first. Three of them need to get the same answer, but it's up to you if they not say that you need to do it in this way, you can choose which way you want. Okay. And please try to do the integration by yourself. The answer of three of them will equal to two minus seven okay, over two pi. Okay, so this is about how you're doing the integration. Uh, usually you would not get the, uh, the graph, okay, the actually there are not much because it uh, all the shape that you need to know is just the like parabola circle something like that not that too complicated okay and Yes, most most of them are just like a straight line, parabola, uh, something like that, circle, and don't forget about the uh, polar equation, the polar shape, okay? Okay, so this is about the double integral. I will uh, wrap up again about the uh, a general substitution later, okay? Like the UV substitution and Jacob, Jacobian, okay? When we, uh, we will talk about the, uh, the important substitution first, okay? So let me go to the triple integral first, okay? So this one is a copy of triple. Okay, so the triple integral will be a bit harder to visualize. Okay, so question seven. I'm not sure that you already learned that at 3D surface already, right? The cone, the paraboloid, ellipsoid, sphere, something like that. You need uh, that to draw the region, okay, in the triple integral.
okay so this one okay so first draw the draw the region first okay this one will be a bit difficult okay from me and also I think for you so as you can see here it's uh, y square plus that square something like that right so uh, the cross section going to be circle because it's the same uh, constant okay it's going to be some circle the cross section going to be some circle okay in the x direction and it is a paraboloid okay so it will become something like this uh, okay it's going to be something like this in the x direction okay and here is minus five okay and there are the planes right x equal to one so it's cut at x equal to one so uh, to not be confusing you i'm not drawing the plane x equal to one okay just imagine that this para paraboloid cut at x equal to one okay so let's draw the region okay this one is not going to be easy okay so it y hat db right okay I will just do the dx first okay because when you're doing the dx you draw the line parallel right to the x-axis okay so this thing i will just doing look at the dx first so the integral of y hat dx okay and the outside one i just call it da first okay i'm not looking at dy and this dz okay now i just look at dx and if you can see the arrow right it's going through the paraboloid first and then x equal to one so this thing will be two y square plus two that square minus five okay and x equal to one okay and if you doing this one okay you can just calculating this one first okay you will get something like this okay just do it slowly okay because i know it's very confusing okay integrate this one it dx and there's no x right so it's going to be x y c x equal to two y square plus two z square minus five and one d a okay this thing will be uh, y z one minus two y square plus two set square minus five okay da like this one. 
Now, it's going to be a bit harder now, okay? Because now we want to know at the cross section at x equal to one, okay? At x equal to one, what is the radius, okay, of the circle? So at here, right? If you uh, look, okay, into the uh, y set plane, you will see like this one. You will see circle, okay? This is y, and this is that, like this one, okay? And it's at x equal to one, so you get two y square plus two z square minus five, right? equal to one okay you want this one to equal to one because we see at x equal to one that means you get y square plus z square equal to three okay so you get the circle with radius square root of three okay in this case right you can look when you look at in the x direction, you can see that y is in the uh, horizontal, right? That is in the vertical, uh, and the vertical axis, right? If I change it to the polar coordinate, okay? Then this is going to be, y will be r, Cos, sorry, theta, uh, sine theta, okay, and one minus two r square minus five r d r d theta, okay, and r of me is from zero. To square root of three, theta is from zero to two pi. Okay, this one is a bit difficult, I know. Okay, and you can just rearrange them and doing the calculation. Okay. This one you need uh, the properties uh, sine two theta equal to two sine theta cos theta. Okay, to change the trigonometric properties. Okay, in the property that you need to know there are that mostly used in this topic I would say uh, there will be two sets of them that need have this one and another one is cos of two theta equal to cos square minus sine cos square theta minus sine square theta or one minus two sine theta okay or two cos square theta minus one okay this is the trick that you need to know okay when you have sine theta cos theta you change it to the sine of two theta 
and when you have the sine square or cos square, you change it to cos two theta and you you substitution. Okay, and then you can work it out. Okay, so let's work this out together. Okay, because I know it's very hard. Okay. Uh, this one will be. Uh, let me just rewrite this one first. Okay, so this one is going to be six minus two half square. Okay, so uh, there will be six r cube minus two r to the fifth sine theta cos theta dr d theta okay i just combine every r and put it inside okay now i doing the integration with r get zero to two pi of three over two r to the fourth minus 1 over 3 r to the 6 sine theta cos theta d uh, okay from 0 to root 3 d theta okay and it will be uh, 9 over 2 sine theta cos theta okay and as i already say when you have uh, sine theta cos theta we change it to sine to theta so this thing will be 9 to the 4 sine to theta okay be careful okay it's not 9 over because as you can see here uh, it's 2 sine theta cos theta right if you just have sine theta cos theta then you have to divide by 2 again okay you will get this one and this thing will give you minus 9 over 8 uh, cos 2 theta from 0 to 2 pi and this thing is 0 okay this is how you do it okay okay this one is a bit difficult as you can see we do the integration one by one right so i do dx first and then when i finish dx it become uh, the double integral so you can use technique in double integral right we can change it to polar coordinates okay so uh, hello teacher yes uh, uh, about the uh, triple integrals like uh, in the 3D graph yeah. in the exam, are, are these graphs going to be provided or not? No. The, oh. Uh, you need to, to remember the 3D graph. I think it's not oh. going to be exist from... I think you already learned the function of several variable, right? I think in Cal 1. Yeah. Yeah. But um, we we will to draw all the graph ourselves. Really? Uh, I mean, in, in the exam, do, do we need to draw all the graph ourselves? No, I see. In this case, you you need. <laughs> oh. You need you need to do it. 
Okay. Oh my God. Uh, so uh, in, in the question seven, uh, yeah. Yeah, can you a, a little bit explain how, how how do we draw draw that graph like x equal to two y square plus two z square minus five? How how do we get get that shape? Okay. The, the yellow one. Okay. So what I like to do, right? Uh, x equal to y two uh, y square plus two z square minus five, right? What I like to do when I can't remember the equation, right? Is I try to project it to three different, uh, how to say, three different planes. So I will draw x z, y z, okay, and uh, x y. Okay, when it's x set, right, it means y equal to zero, y set means x equal to zero, and xy means that equal to zero. Okay, and if I let this one x uh, y equal to zero, the equation that I get will be x equal to two that square minus five. Okay, and this one is the parabola, right? This one is the parabola. Uh, it's going to be in the x direction like this one. Okay? Right, because like y equal to x squared is going to wrap around y axis, right? So this x equal to to that square, it's going to wrap around x axis. The next one, x equal to zero, you get zero equal to two y square plus two that square minus five. Okay, if we rearrange, you get y square plus two that square equal to five. I just rid of five over two. Is a circle, okay. And for the last one, when z equal to zero, you get x equal to two y square minus five. It's also the parabola, okay, like this. And when you combine it together, okay, this is uh, the hard part, right? This is x y and that right so see x that is the parabola right so it's going to be like this in the x that direction okay and x y right x y is also the parabola so it becomes something like this in the y direction, and y that is a circle, so it's going to be the circle in the y direction. So you get the idea of what shape it's going to be. This is one way, okay? If this is one way to do it. Another way to do it is called a cross section, okay? Uh, you can do it like when you say x equal to one, what shape it's going to be? X equal to zero, x equal to minus one, something like that, okay? And if you do it like that, that is another way to visualize it, okay? X equal to two y square plus two sub square minus five, right? I will do the cross section in the x direction, okay? So I let x equal to zero, x equal to minus one, and x equal to one, okay? And when you put x equal to zero, you get y square plus z square equal to five over two, right? 
x equal to minus one, then you get y squared plus z squared equal to two. And when x equal to one, you get y squared plus z squared equal to three, right? Then all of them is a circle, right? With different radius, okay. So when you draw, when you draw the graph, it will be like this, right? And at x equal to minus one, it's going to be some circle around here. At x equal to zero, it's going to be bigger circle, right? And at x equal to one, it's going to be another bigger circle. And then you can join this, you get the same picture, which is the, what we call it the paraboloid. Okay, is that fine? Is that clear? Yeah, I get the idea, but it's still difficult. <laughs> difficult i would say yeah yeah okay teacher yes are these two methods applicable for any shape it most of the shape i would say because if it is a weird shape right uh when you're doing the cross section it's not going to see it nicely right? Okay, but if it's just uh, some regular shape, then that's all, that's fine. You can, you can get the idea of the shape. You might not get uh, the correct proportion or something, but you, you get what you will do it with it. And that's enough. Okay. Oh, okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, so. Uh, I, I I think what you will going to say is not harder than this one. I, I think it's in like some kind of this shape, paraboloid, lipsoid, something like that. Okay, the sphere. Okay, let me do uh, this one. So this one is question eight, right? I think the, the hard part of triple integral and double integral is not the integral part. It's the uh, finding where to integrate that I think is the harder part. between 2x plus y plus z equal to 4 and 4x plus 4y plus 2z equal to 20. Uh, that is in This is another hard one. Okay, because it's a weird shape. What happened? Okay, so 
uh, they give you two plane, right? Two plane. This one is a plane, and also this one. Okay, give you two plane, and also uh, the region in Y set, right? Which is this one. So it will be like something like the cylinder uh, in the uh, y set direction. Okay, so let's try to draw it. Okay, so in this case, if it is the straight line, what I usually do is doing it like this one. Okay, and you kindly get the idea. Okay, I do it uh, quite fast. Okay, because uh, if I let x, uh, x, y, see, x equal to zero, I get y plus z equal to four, right? Y z equal to four. There will be something like this, okay? Right? Y z equal to four, and you can do it like that. There, will, you get some kind of triangle, okay? This is not in the scale. I would say. Okay. And another one, you are going to get some similar uh, shape. Okay. There will be something like this. Okay. So you get that it has two planes. Okay. I, I hope you uh, get the idea. And you get the shape that equal to 2y square and that equal to square root of 4y, right? In y set direction, so it's here. It's going to be the parabola in that direction. And also the, uh, something like this, okay? And it's going through like this. Okay. So the part that you interested in is over here. Okay, until here, because it's bound. There's something like this. My drawing is not uh, that good, but you get the idea where to integrate okay you don't need to be precise need to be uh, just know where you need to integrate okay so let's try to do it slowly okay so now 15 at db right so uh, I will do it in dx first, okay? Because when you do it in dx, after that you project it into the y side direction, right? And they also already give you the uh, the equation in the y side, okay? So this will be integral 15 set dx. Okay, and then the A. What is the bound of this uh, equation? You just need x equal, right? So this one will be x equal to 4 minus y minus z, right, over 2. This one will be x equal to 20 minus 4y minus 2z over 4 okay and you can uh, do it reduce so you get 2 minus half y minus half z right and another one will be 5 minus y minus half z okay you do it this one first 
okay? You can do it separately like this, or if in this equation, right, they already give you the y that you can plug in the area, uh, the boundary of y set, and then you can compute, okay? If you want to do it, right, uh, give the, the limit of the integration, so it will be y set like this, and the graph is like, like this, right? Let's change the color. So they say that one is the side equal to two y square. This is one side equal to two y square. And another one is this one, which is that equal to square root four y. Okay. So if you want to do it, so two minus y minus fifteen set dx, right? Da is in this case it's set right set equal to. So I will do d set dy. Okay, because I don't need to change. Okay, so five minus y minus one over two set and it's d set, so in the up direction. So this will be two y square, two square root four y. Okay, and y is just from y equal to zero to here, and we have to figure out here. So it becomes square root four y equal to two y square. Right, and you need to figure it out. What is y? And you get y equal to one. Okay. In this place, y is equal to one, so it's zero to one. You get the integration. You just now it's just a calculation, a very straightforward calculation, but very long. Okay. Uh, this one. If you try, you will get 49 over 2. Okay. Okay, you try to do the calculation by yourself. Just do dx first, dz, and then dy. Okay. The next one that I want to show is called the uh, cylindrical uh, coordinate, right? It's similar, I have to say, similar to the question uh, seven that we already done. Okay. It's we using some kind of the cylinder to uh, do it. Okay, so this one is question nine. D y D to the minus x square plus square dv. x square plus that square equal to 4 and x square plus that square equal to 9 1 and that equal to, uh, less than or equal to 0 okay so this one right it say already it's cylinder Right, so draw the graph. 
is called is x square plus z square, right? So x y z like this. It's going to be in this direction. Okay. It's going to be like this. Okay. And the radius is four. Okay. Another one is also the cylinder, right? But the radius, uh, sorry, the radius is two. And the next one is the radius is going to be three. So it's going to be the bigger one. Okay, like this. Let's say the region between, okay, these two cylinders and also y equal to one to five. Okay, so it's going to cut around here. Okay, it's going to cut. So we don't, we use only the one to five and that is less than zero, right? The set is less than zero, so it's going to be cut like this. And the area that we use is going to be this part, okay? The lower one, okay? Hope you uh, get the idea. Okay, so. In this case, right, the integral b to the minus x squared minus z squared dv will equal to when you do the cylindrical coordinate, right? You're going to have one in the x, y, z, okay? Any, uh, in the general, you can use x, y, or c, okay? But in this case, right, because it's this, if you see the cross section, y, z, it's going to be the circle, right? So we need to get rid of the y, okay? We want to preserve the circle, so we get rid of y, okay? So uh, this thing, I will use dy, Okay, and then we change x map into the r and theta, the r, the theta, and when it is the r, the theta, don't forget the r. Okay, and since it's in the exact exact direction, right? X square plus that square is going to be r square, so it will be e minus r square. Okay. Now, y in the y direction, right? It say y is from one to five. So it's one to five, right? Less than one, right? Uh, greater than one, less than five. R, the, ra the radius, right? The radius is between two and three, okay? If you can say that uh, the small one is two and the larger one is three, right? We want it in the between. So it's become two and three, okay? And since it, that is in the less than zero, right? So that's the lower half of the circle. So pi to two pi, okay? If you see uh, exact, right? The shape is going to be like this, okay? So the radius is from two to three, and the angle is from pi to two pi. Okay, and when you get the uh, equation, after that it's just calculation. Okay, uh, because we are running up our time. Okay, but I I want to cover everything. Uh, I hope you're going to practice doing the integration by yourself. Okay, I'm. Uh, I will help you to visualize 
how to draw the region and make uh, how you're going to uh, putting the integral together. Okay. Uh, question 10. This one, this one is a paraboloid. Okay. So, uh, draw the graph. This one is the paraboloid start at uh, minus seven. Okay. So it's going to be like this. This is the graph that you will get, okay? And when you get this one, right, you do it uh, similar to the question, save uh, it, okay, and the integral, e of 4x1, db right and in this one right as you can see i want to do the d hat first okay uh it will become x y d hat and then da okay what is the boundary of this one? The lower part, right, is the 2x squared plus 2y squared minus 7. Uh, plus 2y squared minus 7. And the upper one is that equal to 1. Okay. After that, da right in the xy if you project uh, this one into the xy plane you will see the circle okay so you're going to use the uh, cylindrical coordinate so it's in the xy plane so x become r cos theta or sine theta uh, r d set d r d theta okay and it uh d r d theta right in the x y plane so 2x square plus 2y square will become 2r square minus 7 and this one is 1 the radius of this one if you see that at the upper when you project this one right you will get you will see the biggest circle so the biggest circle is at that equal to one so it become one equal to two x square plus two y square minus seven right you get x squared plus y squared equal to 4. Okay? So r is 2. So r will be 0 to 2. And this whole circle 
So zero to two pi. Okay. After that, you do the calculation, change it because it's cos theta and sine theta. Use the two. Uh, change it to sine two theta over two. Okay, and then you can do the calculation. This thing will equal to zero. Okay. Please practice doing the integral by yourself. Uh, okay, let me see. Okay. So you have uh, two spherical coordinates. Okay. And then we will uh, review about the Jacobian and I think this is, will be the end of this tutorial. This one is question 11. Ten x plus three db e is the portion of x square plus y square plus z square equal to sixteen with that greater than zero. Okay. When you see this one, okay, x square plus y square equal to z square, uh, x square plus y square plus z square equal to some r square. This one is this sphere, okay, always be this sphere, okay. So just draw the sphere, okay. Imagine it's a sphere, okay, not a circle. But it says that z is greater than zero, right? So this graph, uh, this region that we use is going to be uh, upper half of the sphere. Okay. Okay. And now is the tricky part. Because when you change it to the spherical coordinate, right? E ten x plus three dv. Ah, this is a very tricky okay. So, uh, the, the x, right, x going to change to rho psi phi cos theta, and that is going to be uh, rho cos phi. I'm not sure that. Uh, your lecturer have derived it to you or not. Okay, so this thing will be 10 rho psi phi cos theta and rho cos phi. Okay, let's move this right. Okay, it's going to be this one. This is x and y, uh, x and z, right? Okay. Plus 3. And similar to when you change it to the polar coordinate, you get r, dr, d theta, right? In this one, you get rho square sine phi. Okay d rho d theta d phi 
Okay. Okay. D rho, D theta, D phi. And rho is the radius. Okay. Rho is the radius. Theta is the uh, in x, y, and phi is the in uh, like x that okay something like this. Uh, the phi right, the phi will go from uh, the positive flat to the negative flat. Okay, so it's going like this. This is phi. The theta is going around the x y plane like that. Okay, so in this case, right, the radius of this sphere is 4. So it's from 0 to 4. Okay, and the theta, right? The theta is the full circle, right? Because we want the full uh, circle. So it becomes 0 to 2 pi and the phi, right? Phi, we just half of the circle because we want that from uh, this to that equal to 0. Okay? So it becomes zero to two pi, uh, not not two pi, pi over two. Okay, this is how you do it. Okay, it's not easy. I have to tell. Okay, and then you do the calculation. Okay, hope you uh, can do the calculation. Okay, so the last one before we go to the Jacobian and then we will be done. The Jacobian, I'm just doing the very brief, okay? Because uh, it's not uh, the main topic. The main topic is about this, the spherical and also the cylindrical. Where E is the inside both x square plus y square plus z square equal to 1, and that equal to square root x square plus y square. Okay. Okay, so. The graph of this one is like this. Uh, this one, right, is the sphere. Okay. So just imagine the sphere. But it also says that it needs to be inside the z equal to x squared plus y squared, right? And it's whole, the whole square root. Right, this one, if you uh, do what I already tell you, right, this, you will get a cone, okay? You will get a cone. And the cone in this one will be, uh, the pointy one will be at uh, zero, zero, zero. So it's going to be like this. Okay, the region that we need is just this part. Okay, okay, we want this part. How are we going to do it? Okay, let's do it slowly. 
prefab DB, right? Three, that, that will be row cost phi, and then row square side phi, the row. d theta d5 okay and you can see that the row right is from 0 to 1 okay it's uh, start from 0 to 1 so 0 to 1 the theta right is the full circle right you can see that this picture get uh, the full circle in the x y plane so it's 0 to 2 pi the tricky one is this one because the phi right what is the phi that we need to find so we want uh, uh, this, when this equation, right, and this equation equal to each other, okay, and that's a very hard question, okay. So, how are we going to do it? Uh, Okay, so first we uh, now I'm going to explain. We want to convert the cone, right, the cone equation, this one. This is the cone equation into uh, into the spherical uh, coordinate. Okay. What this means is that like we when we convert the circle right x square plus y square equal to four into the polar coordinate we get r square equal to four something like this okay in this case we convert this cone into the spherical coordinate it's going to be rho cos phi Okay, this one is uh, set, right? And square root of x square plus y square. Okay, this one is equal to rho sine phi. Okay, you change it to the polar and then you change it to the spherical again. This is the way, the easiest way. Okay, change to polar, it, you're going to get R, right? And R equal to rho psi phi in spherical coordinate. And when you get this one, right? You get that uh, sine phi over cos phi equal to one, 
which is 10 of pi equal to 1. So you get that phi equal to pi over 4. Okay. And when you get pi is equal to pi over 4, you start from 0, right, to pi over 4. Because it starts from the upper part to the lower part, like this. Okay, and then you do the calculation. Okay. This is how you uh, change to the polar coordinate. Okay, the last one, the very last one, and after that, if you have any question, I can answer uh, for you. Okay, it's question 13. If R uh, is the inside x square over 4 plus y square over 36 equal to 1. to two u and y equal to six v to r. Okay. Uh, maybe I will give you another one that about the Jacobian. Okay, this one I want to uh, show you that why uh, changing the variable is uh, very uh, a good thing. Okay, when you're doing uh, this. If you see that this one, right, is the uh, ellipse, okay? This one is the ellipse. So it's going to be something like this. Okay, it's, it is something like this. And when you change uh, x equal to 2u and y equal to 6v, right? Then it's going to be 2u square over 4 plus 6v square over 36 equal to 1, right? It's 4u square over 4 plus 36 v square over 36 equal to 1, which is just u square plus v square equal to 1. Okay, this one is x, y. When you change it to u and v, you get the circle. Okay, when you get the circle, you can do many things about it. You can use change again to polar coordinates or something. Okay, this is the uh, when you're doing the changing in variable and when you do the Jacobian, okay, compute the Jacobian 14 falling. Okay, x equal to 4u minus 3v square and y equal to u square minus 6v. Okay, when you're doing the Jacobian, it's just doing the uh, determinant, right? y uv equal to uh, differentiate x with respect to u. 
x with respect to v, y with respect to u, and y with respect to v. Okay, and this thing gets 4 minus 6v to u and minus 6, right? And then you do the determinant, get 20, minus 24 minus 12 uv. Okay, and it's minus 24 plus 12 uv. Okay, this is how you do the Jacobian. Okay, usually in the exam, I think uh, if you need to do the Jacobian, need to do the transformation, they will give you, okay, which transformation you use because if don't, it's going to be very hard, I would say. Okay, so this is, I cover everything, okay, and I hope you're going to practice. Okay, I'm not sure that uh, everything in here uh, will go into, into the exam or not. Okay, but this is everything uh, of this course. Okay, if you have any question, you can ask me. If not, then uh, we can leave and enjoy your dinner and hope mm -hmm. good luck for your exam. Yes? Thank you, Ajahn. Uh, I have a question. Yes. Where uh, can we have access to your notes, like your tutorial note? Okay, I never try to uh, put my note into LEB2, but uh, I will try. And if uh, it's possible, you can see in LEB2 within today. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you.